Front de Libération du Québec. Manifeste. The FLQ Manifesto. The Front de Libération du Québec is not the Messiah nor a modern-day Robin Hood. It is a regrouping of Quebec workers who have decided to use every means at their disposal to ensure that the people of Quebec assume control of their own destiny. The Front de Libération du Québec wants complete independence for all Quebecers, united in a free society, purged forever of its clique of voracious sharks, the patronizing big bosses and their henchmen who have made Quebec their private preserve for cheap labor and unscrupulous exploitation. The Front de Libération du Québec is not a movement of aggression, but a movement countering the aggression organized by high finance and the puppet governments in Ottawa and Quebec. The Brinks Show, Bill 63, the Electoral Map, the so-called Social Progress Tax, Power Corporation, Health Insurance, the La Palme Boys. The Front de Libération du Québec finances itself through voluntary taxes levied from the very enterprises which exploit the workers, banks, finance companies, etc. A quote from René Lévesque, April 29, 1970. Those wielding the money in the status quo, most of whom constitute the traditional tutors of our people, obtained the reaction they were looking for, a step back rather than the change for which we had worked as never before and for which we shall continue to work. End of quote. At one time, we believed it would be to our advantage to channel our energies and our impatience, as René Lévesque put it so aptly, into the Parti Québécois. But the liberal victory was a clear indication that what is called democracy here in Quebec has always been and still is the democracy of the rich. The liberal victory was nothing more than the victory of the election riggers, the Simar Cotroni gang. As a result, we are through with the British parliamentary system. The Front de Libération du Québec will no longer allow itself to be duped by the electoral crumbs which are disdainfully scattered in Quebec every four years by the Anglo-Saxon capitalists. A number of Quebecers have come to understand this and are ready to take action. In the coming year, Bourassa will have a rude awakening. 100,000 revolutionary workers organized and armed. Yes, there are reasons for the liberal victory. We live in a society of terrorized slaves, terrorized by the big bosses such as Steinberg, Clark, Bronfman, Smith, Nepole, Timmons, Geoffrion, J.L. Lévesque, Hirshhorn, Thompson, Nesbitt, Desmarais, and Kierens. Compared to this league, Rémi Popol, the whipping boy, Drapeau the dog, Bourassa, the Simard sidekick, and Trudeau the queer are mere peanuts. We are terrorized by the capitalistic Roman Catholic Church, even though this is becoming less noticeable. Who owns the stock exchange building? By the payments which must be made to household finance, by the publicity of the great consumer overlords, such as Eaton, Simpsons, Morgan, Steinbergs, and General Motors. Terrorized by the closed circles of science and culture which make up our universities, and by their oppressive directors, Gaudry and Doré, and Robert Shaw, their underling. There are a growing number of us who are aware of this society and of being subjected to its terrorist tactics, and the day will come when the Westmounts of Quebec will be wiped off the map. Workers in production, mines, forests, service industries, teachers, students, and unemployed workers, take what belongs to you, your jobs, your right to decide, and your freedom. And you, the workers at General Electric, you are the people who run the factory, you alone are the producers. Without you, there is no General Electric. Workers of Quebec, start today to recover what belongs to you, what is rightfully yours. You alone know your factories, your machines, your hotels, your universities, your unions. Don't wait for some kind of miracle organization. Start your revolution in your own neighborhoods, in your places of work. If you don't, usurping technocrats and others will replace the handful of cigar-puffing taskmasters and everything will be as before. You alone can build a free society. We must fight, not as individuals, but as a group. We must fight until we achieve victory with all the means at our disposal, as did the patriots of 1837-38 the very ones whom our sacred mother, the church, couldn't wait to excommunicate, to better sell out to British interests. May all those throughout Quebec who have been contemptuously referred to as the lousy French and the alcoholics join ranks and fight against the enemies of justice and liberty 
and stop the professional thieves and gangsters, the bankers, businessmen, judges, and corrupt politicians. We are the workers of Quebec, and we will fight to the bitter end. With the help of the people, we will replace the present enslaved society with a free and open society, functioning by and for itself. Our struggle can only be victorious. An emerging nation cannot be kept indefinitely in misery and contempt. Long live free Quebec. Long live our comrades held as political prisoners. Long live the Quebec Revolution. Long live the FLQ.